In this video, we will look at hydrostatic pressure distribution on open channel flows. In most flows that we can simplify as one-dimensional or two-dimensional, there is usually no vertical acceleration. Most of the acceleration occurs along the horizontal plane. In these flows, we also typically have parallel streamlines. Now, if these two conditions are met, then the pressure distribution along the vertical direction or vertical axis can be taken to be the same as hydrostatic pressure distribution. We've already covered the hydrostatic pressure distribution back in our fluid statics lectures. In order to measure or quantify hydrostatic pressure in open channels, we will set the variable z as the channel bottom elevation. If you remember, back when we covered conservation of energy, the variable z typically represented a characteristic elevation of a control surface. For open channel flows, particularly in civil engineering, the variable z will represent the bottom of the channel, and in turn, we will use the variable y to represent the depth of flow. Given these definitions, we can calculate the absolute pressure at the bottom of a channel as the sum of the atmospheric pressure, that is the pressure at the free surface, and the product of the specific weight of the fluid times the depth of the channel. You may recognize this equation because it's very similar to the one that we derived back in fluid statics. However, for open channel flow, we typically use the variable y to represent depth instead of the variable h. In gauge terms, this pressure becomes the product of the specific weight of the fluid times the depth of the channel.